The cocktail scene is a worldwide phenomenon these days, with each country and city claiming historical roots and origins of specific spirits, brands, blends, and concoctions. With health benefits to extol or denounce, depending on one's imbibability, there is no doubt about it, cocktails evoke conversation, creativity, and inspiration. Come join us for a spirited escapade of drink and travel in quest of a cocktail orange. We're going to start with the 1944 Mai Tyler. This drink is named after Mick's very good friend, Steven Tyler. I'm gonna start with two chunks of Maui Gold Pineapple. Now, Maui Gold Pineapple is a unique pineapple that comes just from this island. Hibiscus is really in season, so we got a bunch of local hibiscus that were farmed from a local farmer. We made a simple syrup out of it, and we created a drink called the Doris Day, which is basically a take on a gimlet. making whiskey. So, uh, so far, uh, besides the whiskey, we've also got some grappa here, a little Asian pear Oda B, where we grew the pear in the bottle hanging on the tree. Um, we've got four vodkas, an orange, a lemon, a hundred proof, and an eighty proof. And uh, also we have a lovely gin, so we're, uh, we've, we've been up to no good. They're just down the street in uh, Sebastopol. It's a husband-wife distiller team. They're amazing people, but despite, I mean, that aside, their spirits are incredible. We're gonna work on different mezcals and different combos of mezcal drinks because it's just a, a hot, hot spirit right now. People love mezcal. No matter where in the universe you hail from, or where you're traveling to, or what in particular tickles your taste buds, it's a sure thing you'll find a cocktail that's just right for you. Keep exploring and enjoying, shaken and stirred.